has had five or more employees and you managed to survive COVID, you're eligible to receive a payroll tax rebate of up to $26,000 per employee who's not alone. Uh, it's your money. The challenge is getting your hands on this. It's complicated. It's a federal bureaucracy. I mean, on and on. So how do you cut through that red tape? How do you get the dollars? Uh, go to GetRefunds.com. GetRefunds.com. Uh, experts in this little-known payroll tax uh, refund program, and they do all the work. Uh, and there is no charge up front. As a matter of fact, the only charge is a percentage of the cash they get for you. It's a contingency arrangement. And businesses of all types can qualify. Those who took PPP, nonprofits, even those who had increases in sales. They got my business a six-figure week on there in another program. And this one, the average claim is a quarter of a million dollars back. Go to getrefunds.com, click on the Qualify Me button, answer a few questions, they do the rest. Getrefunds.com. Checking your KFI financial report, the Dow is up 247, S&P gaining 31, NASDAQ up 171, and the average price of a gallon of unleaded gas in California is still $5.91. For the lowest gas prices in your area, check out our website at kfiam640.com, keyword gas. Your SoCal weather from KFI looks like it's going to be a mostly sunny day today. Temperatures pretty mild, as will just be in the 60s at the beaches to right at 70 inland, and we should see more of the same tomorrow. Right now it is 52 in Tustin, 50 in Sherman Oaks. Let's get a look at that ride on the 405. Well, it's busy coming across San Brown's Valley, no doubt about it. Uh, pretty much uh, south of Roscoe, up and over the hill, that'll be your drive. But going back a little bit, uh, talking about the 14 coming out of the back, and it's real slow this morning. And we did a few laps around that interchange there where the South 5 and 14 come together. South 5 is okay, but the 14, it's really jammed coming out from the San, uh, San Canyon all the way down to Newhall Avenue. Might be something under one of those overpasses out of Kansas City, but just be prepared. And Sierra Highway got real busy, so as slow as it is, might want to stick with the 14. Oh, another problem. Uh, South 5 at Balboa, right? Now, middle of all that, that is clear. So once you get on the downhill side, you'll start moving along. And look at the 118. That's all good. No problems there. In between, well, Rocky Peak and the 405 is kind of normal morning traffic. And just a reminder, again, we'll keep tabs on this all morning, but Hollywood Boulevard, it is still shut down. There's so much stuff to clear there. Still working away. Highland to Orange, that's the closure. Uh, what's that South 101 Highland off traffic? It's kind of busy. Jeff Barr, hey, have fun in the sky. Brought to you by Life Source Water. Taste and feel the difference. Kids, Packers were an unbelievably tangled mess. The IRS just wouldn't work with me. Then Optima got involved, and they really got involved. Optima Tax Relief is A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau, and they resolved over $1 billion for their clients. It's like having two lives, the one before Optima Tax and the one after. You what they did. Call Optima now for a free consultation. Call 800-783-8055. 800-783-8055. Regrow your own natural hair with the same simple one-day treatment that I receive from Advanced Hair Restoration. Get a free consultation, $250 off, and 253 hair grafts by calling 844-333-HAIR or advancedhair.com. We're in a drought, but we've been down this road before. We know how to save. Watering your plants in the early morning or evening saves five gallons. More for them, less for evaporation. For tips and rebates, visit eWaterWise.com. This is Jacob and Ronnie. If you've been in an accident, call 844-24-JACOB. K-F-I. More stimulating talk. I radio station. share with you what uh, the governor uh, has done. I mean, he did this uh, yesterday. Uh, he called on, well, first of all, we're starting with the drought news. We had a huge amount of rain the last couple of days, uh, actually yesterday, and not enough. Uh, we're still in a historic drought. As a matter of fact, the uh, climatologist saying this is the worst drought in California history. We've been able to measure. So what the governor, the governor does is calls on local water agencies to introduce new water use restrictions and for state regulators to ban watering decorative grass. 
and businesses, institutions, are not in their homes yet. And this is uh, it obviously uh, in an attempt to lower water usage. Now, you can still have all the fake grass you want. What, what do they actually call it? The non-functional grass. I love that. Fake grass is non-functional grass. It's a euphemism. Now, we can't use the word fake grass. Uh, of course not. So, uh, that, well, actually, if there are enough restrictions, people put in fake grass. Don't call it fake grass. Yeah, well, yeah but it's fake grass. Being rude, so I have a house full of fake grass. Of uh, fake grass. <laughs> uh, it, it, mainly because, uh, well, my, in my place, there are areas where if you water it enough, it gets soggy and muddy. And if you don't water it in, enough, then the other side uh, gets all burnt. So put in fake grass. Although during the summer, I don't know if you've ever walked oh. on, on it's because it's a cool place, plastic, and during the summer it just sucks up the heat. And uh, if you walk on it, man, I gotta tell you, not only is it super hot where you can't walk on it, uh, the grass actually melts into the soles of your feet, and it becomes molecularly, molecularly bonded. And it is very, very tough. Well, anyway, so the governor goes on and says, uh, uh, no non-functional grass at commercial, industrial, and institutional buildings. Doesn't include residential lawns, we have real grass, uh, grass used in sports fields and parks, that can be real grass. Also, doesn't include golf courses. Now, golf courses actually are on a different level, and it should not, no matter how restricted, because they use uh, recycled, non-potable water. Which makes sense. I mean, that's, uh, and I think that's uh, uh, not only a, a legal issue, but also uh, saves a ton of money, because the amount of water that's used is just completely crazy on I mean, uh, golf courses. And so the Department of Water uh, Water Resources estimates that this ban the governor just popped in will result in potential water savings of several hundred thousand acre feet. So to give you an idea, an acre foot serves the needs of three, give or take, households a year. So several hundred thousand times three. Now we're talking some, those are real figures, a lot of money. And this comes now a historically dry start of the year. Uh, we saw the, the driest January and February in recorded history this year. March, even though it, the rains went crazy yesterday, still going to be unusually dry. And so here's what the executive order. This is the governor signing an order that said you must do. And it calls on local water agencies to toughen the water use restrictions. And act at a minimum a level two water contingency plan, which means uh, that the agency could limit the number of days uh, residents can water outdoors. Remember, you could, you, you didn't, there were times when uh, the last uh, big, big drought was uh, in 2012. Uh, you couldn't water your lawn at all. You couldn't wash your sidewalks. You couldn't wash your car at all. You go to a car wash, they recycle their water too. And so some agencies are already there. Uh, other agencies are still under level one, which is the minimum requirement. And therein lies the problem. And this is the state ordering across the board to water agencies saying you must do this. Level three, for example, uh, you can't water for uh, five days a week. You can do it two days a week. And it is more expensive to buy water in the first place from the state agency or your local water district. But here is what the water districts are saying. Wait a minute. Look what we have done. San Diego, for example, uh, their water district is saying we just built a one billion dollar desalination uh, desalination plant taking salt water and converting it into drinking water uh, that's a billion dollars uh, we shouldn't be treated the same look what we're doing let us decide you know water here's why water agencies are saying let us decide we'll do it because when residents can serve the agencies lose millions of dollars of revenue. Now, they make money. They have. They still have the same number of people. It's a municipality, uh, administrative agency, and so 
it's just expensive to run, and if you sell less, guess what's going to happen? Uh, they're going to run out of money. And so you have other agencies who are saying, we have enough water by our restrictions, or we want to restrict to level one, the governor wants level three, and there is the basic, uh, the, a basic flaw, I think, because agencies all have to be treated differently because they are different. Uh, some do a better job of conserving, some do a better job, like in this case, producing more water. And they're saying, hey, we're not all the same. One size does not fit all. So be prepared uh, across the board. I don't care where you live. And that is for cut, cut, cut of uh, water usage. In DWP, I live in the Department of Water and Power Land, uh, pretty restrictive. And that's what we're going to see. Wait till the rest of the summertime. You're going to hear drought and water usage, those words being thrown around like crazy. Interesting thing going on at the border. A group of Russians tell the U.S. bypass the law completely to get the Russians in. That story is coming up. In the meantime, let's check in with Jennifer Jones Lee, live in the KFI 24 hour newsroom. Well, as you mentioned, Handel, we are watching very closely Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And the latest this morning is Ukraine is calling on world leaders to find enough courage to help the country defend itself. President Zelensky claims they're an accomplice if they're too afraid to provide weapons like planes and tanks. The NFL is making a new commitment to diversity. Every football team will now be required to have a minority or a woman as an assistant coach to work on offense. And more people are saying they have been sick with COVID-19 at some point. There's a new poll out that puts that number at 52%. That's up 12% from late January. Your SoCal weather from KFI looks like it's going to be a mostly sunny day ahead with highs ranging from the 60s at the beaches to right at 70 inland. This report is brought to you by waterheatersonly.com. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, let's go places. Jeff Vaughn now is taking us to the 10. Yeah, we go well, part of it anyway. But before I say one thing about COVID, I will admit to being a lot more tired since the whole few stars. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but that's my deal. The uh, ten, the uh, San Bernardino for right now. Coming up, Kellogg Hill over towards Big Hill, Five Ball and Park. All that. It's the usual stuff. I hope you allow for this. It's pretty much from uh, Azusa to the 605. But after that, these will improve, actually, over to the 710. The uh, West Side 60, a little slow, coming to Monticello, but that's about it. And we came down to 5, uh, coming out of Burbank. They're still in pretty good shape. If we were still at home, these are early. There seems to be a lot of volume out here, but that's pretty much what it is. And we're heading for a reported problem down around the East LA interchange, going out to the West Santa Monica Freeway. More on that coming up, so go away. Jeff Ball, KFI in the sky. Need a new water heater? Water heaters only, with over 54 years in business. Offers low prices, quality, same day service, and 0% deferred interest financing. Visit waterheatersonly.com. That's waterheatersonly.com. Terms and conditions apply. This report is sponsored by Usenet 12 Hours. Usenet's extended release by layer tablets allow for immediate and extended release, relieving chest congestion for 12 hours. Plus, Usenet is eligible for any leftover HSA FSA funds. Look from Usenet, the number one OTC brand doctor's trust. Available at Target. This month, it's just crazy not to watch college hoops at Morongo. Now your top reason to visit Morongo. The legendary band War, live May 27th. Number two. New parking station. New spot, same low gas prices. Our new premise center is now open. And the number one reason. It's a laser pool, market time. Get access to the pool, free club play, and the lucky hat when you come to Rome. Morongo, good times. Spring is here, and it is the best time to get solar because you get more electrical production in the spring. And Solar Max Technology Spring Forward Sale is on. You can get solar for $49.93 a month, zero down, and 0.99% APR. Take control of your electric bill. Call Solar Max and get solar for $49.93 a month with zero down and that 0.99% APR. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the keyword Solar Max. Pound 250 Solar Max or go to solarmaxtech.com. Complete terms are available. Pre price, you have to be in the next episode for you. Now that you're traveling again, why not travel better? Their pair of charter flights change the way you travel, transforming how you live, work, and explore. Spend less time getting there and more time focused on the things that matter most. Their pair of charter flights bring friends and family closer and puts business partners within easy reach. Experience the most convenient alternative to commercial air travel. 
Get a free quote on your next flight at Surfair.com. There's a better way to fly. Has your business been the target of an ADA non-compliance lawsuit? Then there are two calls to make, your attorney and our court, the ADA compliance and certification experts. Go to ADAGurus.com, ADAGurus.com. If you're drowning in IRS debt and can't afford to pay, then you need to take advantage of special IRS tax programs that are available and free yourself from IRS collection efforts once and for all. Due to the financial hardships consumers are facing throughout the country, the Internal Revenue Service has made it easier to settle delinquent tax problems. An open phone line has been established by Community Tax for consumers to call and see if they qualify. Take down this number or store it in your cell phone, but call the Community Tax Helpline at 800-461-8937. If you owe back taxes to the IRS and cannot afford to pay them back, or even if you have years of unfiled tax returns, there's no need to fear anymore. But you have to call the Community Tax Helpline today at 800-461-8937. For the help that you need, don't take on the IRS alone. They can attack your wages, savings, pension, home, and even your social security check. Call 800-461-8937 for your free consultation and to see if you qualify. That's 800-461-8937. I'm attorney Darren Cavanoke from 1-800-NO-COP. Can you do the alphabet backwards? Z, Y, S, W, Z. Yeah, try doing that by the side of the road. So if you get pulled over, don't wing it. Call us at one 800 100 no cups. They'll never cut the tax ever. Not a penny, not a quarter, not 50 cents. When do they ever cut a tax? You think they care how much you pay for gas? They don't want to give up their cut. Done and done. We pay the two. You know, I want to smack people on the side of the head. They don't care about your life. They don't care if you can't afford gas. On KFI. <laughs> Forty. Bill Handel here on a Tuesday morning, March 29. The rains are over, but it is cold. It's just warming up. Yeah, temperatures will be 60s and 70s today. Yeah, and, and then they go, uh, okay, it's a couple of degrees warmer as the week goes on. Oh, which is, you know, welcome to uh, March. It's around this time. It'll be, oh, uh, it's, uh, I was trying to look this up. Uh, is March considered one of the rainier months in uh, Southern California? Or is it uh, basically rain is done, and, you know, the June gloom comes around, and then nothing until uh, the fall or early winter? Right. And, uh, so it was, uh, <laughs> I know. I was just uh, uh, trying to figure it out. I look. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't find it. Just wanted to know that one. All right, I want to go to the border for a moment and tell you what's going on. There was a group of Russian citizens, there is a group of Russian citizens who had fled uh, Russia after the invasion, and they wanted to come to the U.S. And they got here one way or another, and there they are at the U.S.-Mexican border with everybody else lining up. Uh, they were in tents, uh, they were in lounge chairs, uh, donated. Uh, blankets, etc., donated, and uh, so they were just like everybody else. Thousands and thousands of people there at the border, and they couldn't get in. And then all of a sudden, uh, a group of 35 of them were taken away uh, early, early March 20th, driven to uh, part of the border where they wouldn't be seen. It was a checkpoint that had been closed, so there was no no one there. So they're under the cover of night. The Mexican immigration officers handed over the Russians to the U.S. And two days before that, the Russians received an offer from a Russian-speaking man who said he was an American diplomat. That's how he introduced himself. And he told them they would be taken across the border. So break up your encampment that's growing on the Tijuana and uh, the Tijuana border, San Isidro, and near San Diego. And uh, just get away from that pedestrian crossing between Tijuana and uh, San Diego. This agreement, secret agreement, which we now know about, was brokered by the U.S. consulate in Tijuana and done with Mexican officials at the federal and state level. And what it did, now I'm going to throw in politics here, it bypassed Title 42. Uh, it uh, was a pandemic-era measure that uh, Donald Trump threw in there to, well, because he wasn't thrilled with immigrants, and this had to do with the basis of Title 42. It is a uh, public health issue, 
it was a pandemic defense and didn't want uh, more viruses uh, introduced into the United States, and therefore, here we go, we're going to keep people out. Even asylum seekers out. And the border agents had the authority, in fact, still do, to say no thank you based on the pandemic. Uh, the federal government under Biden, who kept screaming about this, has not undone this. Title 42 is still there. And what this shows is how the asylum policy under 20, uh, 42 is not predictable, it is not transparent, it's totally arbitrary, using exemptions that may or may not exist, backdoor deals like this one. Now, it's been a bad week for the asylum seekers from Russia, uh, most of whom have been active in opposition to the war, and then they were on the hit list fled political persecution, and they're waiting for days there at the border to begin their uh, request for asylum. And they were like on the sidewalk with thousands and thousands of other folks waiting to come in. And then all of a sudden they disappear. Now, can you imagine you have, you're, you're there at the border and you're a migrant coming from South America or Central America. Uh, even Latin America, down below, below the border. And you have these 42 Russians that are there, and of course everybody knows about the news, everybody is aware of what's going on, and all of a sudden, one morning, they're gone. 42 of them disappear. Oh, okay, on 42 less people, why did it happen? I don't know. Would anybody imagine that there was a secret deal that was cut between Mexico and the United States officially? Incidentally, this was not a sub Rosa deal. I mean, it was, it was secret, but it was done by authorities. As I said, it was the Mexican authorities who transferred those, uh, the 42 asylum seekers into the hands of uh, the government. So with that, all of a sudden, new attention is being brought to Title 42. A group of about a dozen Ukrainians who were in Tijuana amongst the encampment in early March, this was days before uh, the war, initially denied coming in. Nope. 42. Title 42. And then, right after the invasion, 42 disappeared as far as Ukrainians and Russian nationals that are fleeing the persecution and fleeing the war. And they were brought in and admitted under unspecified exemptions. They didn't put exemptions on. They just said, we're, we're exempting them, and there's no basis for it. It was just an arbitrary decision. So now, if you happen to be Ukrainian, if you happen to be Russian and are fleeing the persecution, happen to be, for example, anti-war, I mean, you're getting in to the point now where Ukrainian asylum seekers who want to come in the United States bypass the line completely and are almost immediately uh, given permission to enter the United States and to go forward with their asylum uh, request. And do you think that those asylum requests are going to be denied at all? Of course not. So do we treat people very differently? We do. Uh, there is a large hatred, uh, fear of migrants coming into this country by a large number of people. And others who say, hey, that's the law. Now, we can't sit here with open arms for everybody that wants to come in. But there are a group of people where none of this applies to. And I'm thinking even the most conservative anti-migrant Republican out there uh, would say, yeah, you know what, there's an exemption here. There's an exception here for Russians and Ukrainians. So let's go back to the people sitting there south of the border, camping for months, waiting to come in and at least try to get asylum. A great many of them are denied right there at the border and they see these people cutting the line. And what do you think? I mean, Jennifer, what do you do when someone cuts the line? I'm, I, at that point, I'm happy I don't have a shotgun. 
I will sometimes say, oh, excuse me, I didn't realize you were in front of me. Oh, that's so nice. No, you put it over. Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't see you there. Much liar. Yes, you don't scream. Get the hell out of here. No, I'm in line, you're not. That's much more like, seriously, what are you doing? And I'm much more of the, uh, I, I'm very passive aggressive about it. Right, so we happen to have three different ways of dealing with it. Yeah. Outrageous. Yeah. Sort of in the middle. Nice, but still making your point. To rational. <laughs> I am not there. All right, coming up, I want to talk about a surveillance system uh, that uh, company Nokia, which everybody knows about, uh, had uh, introduced and helped Russia. And it's still there. And I want to talk about companies that are still helping Russia. American companies, foreign companies, the Western world, and all of that's coming up. In the meantime, we're checking with Jennifer Jones Lee, live in the KFI 24 hour meeting. Well, the International Monetary Fund says it has no problems with Russia and that its board can only suspend the country if the fund's membership says it no longer recognizes the government. The fund approved emergency financing of $1.4 billion for Ukraine on March 10th. That's on top of $700 million given to Ukraine before the war. News is brought to you by Applied General Agency. A man's been arrested for allegedly molesting a teenage girl in the back of an ambulance in Riverside County. Sheriff's officials say the man's an employee for AMR, but is not a paramedic. Investigators say on Friday afternoon, 22-year-old Jason Anderson was accompanying the girl on a ride to a hospital when Anderson groped the girl and then asked her for sex. It's not clear what Anderson's position is with AMR, how long he's been with the company. The girl reported the assault, and on Friday evening, Anderson was booked for multiple acts of felony sexual battery. He posted $75,000 bail and was released Saturday. An arrest been made in connection with a shootout in Oakland that killed a bystander. Police say at least 14 people fired 200 rounds in a shooting in January. Police say a man dropping off food for a friend in quarantine was hit in the head. A man from Encino has been found guilty of trying to scam millions in federal COVID-19 Paycheck Protection Program loans. Jurors concluded Robert Ben Levy filed more than two dozen bogus CDP loan applications trying to get $27 million. The guy claimed the paycheck protection loans were for eight companies he owned, but none of those companies had employees earning a paycheck. Still, a federal prosecutor said Ben Levy claimed each company had 100 employees, which cost $400,000 in monthly payroll expenses. The guy was able to get $3 million from the scheme. Ben Levy was found guilty yesterday and is expected to be sentenced in June. In L.A., Corbin Carson, KFI News. California has its first Latina justice. Judge Patricia Guerrero was sworn in by Governor Newsom yesterday. She's from San Diego and is the child of a grandchild of immigrants. She thanked him during her speech for teaching her the importance of hard work. Every single person can achieve a better life, regardless of where you started from. Before Guerrero was a California Supreme Court justice, she worked as a prosecutor, a superior court judge, and serves on the state's district court of appeals. We'll take a look at your drive in just a moment. We'll check the East L.A. Entertainment. If uh, you are looking to sell your home, or maybe you inherited one and don't know what to do with it, typically you hire a real estate agent. And then you are told to clean and paint, tear, and have to spotless prospective buyers walk through. You can be there, and of course, you get to pay 6% for all of that. Well, how about a different way of doing it? Uh, selling your home for a fair price without any of that hassle. No pain, no cleaning, no 6%, no buyers, uh, and you get paid in cash. How about that? Within 10 days or less. This is directbuyers.com. This is how they will buy your house. Uh, a lot of people out there who lowball you in this industry. Uh, not directbuyers.com. I love the way they do business. They'll give you an honest, no obligation offer, even a $15,000 cash advance before closing. Go to directbuyers.com, directbuyers.com, call 844-242-SELL, 844-242-SELL, directbuyers.com. So, Pat Weather from KFI, it's a mostly sunny day out there with highs right at 60 at the beaches to right at 70 inland, more of the same for tomorrow. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, let's go places like uh, the East LA Interchange. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, this is really down here with the weather, I must say. And also, if you're still at home or if you just started, I gotta look at you. Yeah, it's up there. There's a lot of volume out here at this point. Now, the East LA Interchange couldn't be a busier place, that's for sure. Four freeways, eight corrections, well, everybody's okay. There was a problem, actually, on the West End Rockefeller coming out of the East LA Interchange. So, 
uh, Del 5 and the uh, West 60, North 5, everything going to the West End of Mount That is kind of slow. Now, after that, unfortunately, this is what we call, believe it or not, normal morning drive. And that's a crawl all the way out on the West End after Miss City, after Santa Monica. And there is a definite problem here. This is the end of the transition from the North End South 405 to the West End, going out towards Closer Field. There's not the end of the transition. This is just on both transitions as well. Hollywood Boulevard, zero shut down, still cleaning up. Island to Orange, we're hooking up in my jersey. Two seconds, please. Just on our left. Hurry up, Island is down. This time on commercial road. This time on commercial road. This time on commercial road. That's proven an average of two hours on every trip. Make sure you're going to start with you here. And avoid starting with you. Just stay there, you'll fly from small airports to close to your home. ก็ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้